this is we oh we might have to we might have to censor this hey yo. what is a magical people mandy the mage here and your boy hey. is sickly your boy has the roll of 5000 what is a magical people mandy the mage here and today i'm gonna be turning valheim into an rts with the help of ballistas events and some dev commands as many might know the current state of ballistas is a little questionable they kind of fire off at anybody indiscriminately uh, but instead of putting them against people today we're going to be putting them up against the different raid events that valheim has to offer all this to see if they are worthy of being your primary home defense system now as of recording this video there have been a few updates made to the ballistas and how they work so before we get into today's video let me know in the comment sections down below your thoughts on ballistas are they good in their current state are you okay with it or do they need a drastic overhaul i'm interested in community opinion like this so let me know in the comments down below but with that said if you guys are ready to check out this little experiment with me and see how ballistas hold up against each and every single raid event in this game stay tuned and i'll catch you soon So here we are in front of this simple walled building structure I've created here. It's armed with about 12 ballistas and fortified with three different types of materials, several troll traps, several little divergered spiky things, and most importantly, two two good boys. Um, a couple of one-star good boys. Now the thing about these ballistas, right, that I'm kind of fearing, I've heard, the streets have told me uh, that these things just kind of fire on everybody. Fire on your mom, your dad, your dog, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Um, indiscriminately. I purposely have not loaded them yet. I don't know if these wolfos will fare well. Um, that'll be really sad if we see, if we see that. I'm sick of, I'm sick. I'm not trying to bury another wolf this winter. You know what I mean? Now, what if I were, what if I were to, in theory, be right here? Oh, yeah. Okay, that thing is, oh, okay. Yeah, that thing, that thing has extreme prejudice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward me putting these in because I'm sure you guys don't want to see this. So I'll catch you guys in a second here. No, no, no. Okay, well, that answers that. I don't know why he's not recognizing this other doggo, but damn, dude. Um, we, we went ahead and got them all loaded up here, so now we're getting... Oh, my God. Uh, no, no. <laughs> why? <laughs> all right, so now I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and get into position, and then we're going to go ahead and get these get these events started real quick here let's go ahead and do big fear rallies the creatures of the forest i already hear those ballistas going crazy but how crazy are they going where's it all coming from hello so so far this this feels like a definitive wash uh things are getting murdered and i can't really even see them that means like the moment that they're showing up they're getting liquefied yeah i don't know where the ops are at that's kind of crazy yo my ops say they're outside but i don't really believe that they're outside like that you feel me dog oh Oh, so, so far the turret has just been destroying the perimeter. Um, <laughs> interesting, interesting. So is it safe to say that that, that wasn't, that wasn't shit? All right, so, so far my tower is sufficiently defended. Oh my God. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and spawn in our next event here. All right, so now the forest is moving, which means it should be great orbs. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my body down here. What's up, fool? So now they're gonna go ahead and, and try to smash into my walls. Cause so far it's like six dudes just trying to like smack my walls. You feel me though? <laughs> okay, now we're getting a little bit. Now we're getting some coverage here, okay. Some dudes over here. The ballistas aren't really engaging them, which is interesting. They're engaging these back ones a little bit more. And that makes sense. There's a little bit more space. The forest rests again, though. Let's see if these guys will rest, though. Uh, no, they're working. They're working. But these burger stakes are kind of heavy duty. So I'm just going to let those guys rock. They're probably going to need the help. And we're going to go ahead and spawn in our next event. Ground is shaking. Oh, and they're inside. They're inside my home. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't know you could spawn in here. Oh, and there's one, one guy on the back here. Now let's see if you guys actually make progress. Oh, no. He's going getting sniped he's dead he's dead i mean that's light oh oh and he is too okay so that's interesting that they can just like spawn into my, into these walls of mine right like for what hey buddy come fight me what you gonna do smash these walls big boy hey yo yeah let's create a little bit of a just a little bit of a dent so i'm gonna create little entrances going forward just so they can get in you know just because i want to see i want to see this wood might be op the troll's just gonna hang out i guess he, he lives here now we're just gonna pretend some guys got in right and the ballistas took care of him and then we're gonna go ahead and spawn in our next event some spooky scary skeletons baby oh they're inside the intersection yo show me what you guys got Yo, they're getting obliterated. Look at this guy just hanging out, contemplating his life, wondering why he comes to these events when he knows he's not welcomed. You guys are goofy goobers. Oh, they can shoot at the ballista. Interesting. Does that do any damage to it, though? These guys are just hanging out, lounging about, not even trying to get in. The skeletons are tired of fighting. Are they? Because it feels like... And then for the next event, we're spawning in a foul smell from the swamp. 
Now what exactly that means, I'm not, I'm not certain. I'm wondering if maybe I need to be on the ground for enemies to actually start spawning. Maybe, maybe I'm the goofball here. I'm gonna hang out back here though. Try to dodge my own ballistas. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. So, so far these are like, this is like just the strat. If I just kind of dance around, let them do their own thing. Let me see if I can lead him into a trap. Come here, come here, come here. Goofy, goofy. He's, why is he dancing around it so perfectly? Ah, and it hit me. Cool. Love to see it. The event has technically stopped, but there are still guys fighting. And, uh, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's still pretty light. I mean, you know, not to, like, compliment a ultimately bad system that is the ballistas and the fact that they target everybody, everybody you know and love. Um, but they have been doing a pretty good job at, like, keeping things quiet. I think this one ran out of ammo. Let me see if I can give it some more. But this is, like, pretty sound. Like, if you have these maybe on the perimeter and then you're kiting away from your base, I could maybe see it being, uh, being an interesting system if you don't get hit yourself. That's the only problem. Um, so it is time for the next event. A foul smell from the swamp again. Now, I notice when I do that, it starts raining, which I think is a cool effect ow okay ow in my cheeks thank you sir thank you good sir oh we got the big oozers we got the big boys all right come here now, i don't think these guys have like attacks attacks that can really like damage my structures like that but they're kind of hopping over the defenses and we have the ballistas again just perfectly zoning these and sniping these these enemies are, are a little slower so maybe like more nimble enemies like the boars that we saw earlier in the first event those are going to be kind of harder to uh to properly uh properly aim i suppose but these guys are light i actually have some more blobs coming onto the field but i feel like this event is going to end shortly so I think for this next one, and there we go, we have a sunny sky again. Hello, Mr. Oozer. And then we're gonna do the next event, which is, there's a smell of sulfur in the air, which can only mean one thing, and that is certlings. The skies have gotten, have gotten crazy with <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, poor guy, he didn't even know. So let's see, let's see if their pathfinding lets them get in. Like if I'm over here, are they gonna pathfind over to me? Oh, but the ballista will, hold on. Hey, dude, hey, dude. Oh, so, so far they're just smacking around this uh, this outer wall. A couple of them, really. Let me see if I need to spawn some more, maybe with my physical presence. Do you know what I mean? My sex appeal, my 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 deep sexy voice calling into the wilds for the hot boys. Kaka, come here, come here. It is kind of spooky how the skies get all dark, and now that there's some holes in this uh, this fortress, it is kind of looking apocalyptic. I do like that, but I do think that the fire from the surlings are doing some serious damage um, against the walls. Or at least the outer walls here. Look at them still running around out there. Oh, no, he's fighting boars. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. You making bacon over here? Oh, there you go. There you go. I was rooting for you, champ. All right. And for that, we're on to the next event, which is going to be Cold Wind Blows from the Mountains, um, which to my understanding means that there's going to be drakes, right? So, yeah, I do see some drakes. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is interesting because the drakes can totally just, uh, oh god, oh god, circumvent the whole wall system we got going on here. They're all gonna fly towards me? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, I'm getting lit up. They're, they're the only, uh, only event that has so far been putting any serious damage on, uh, on any of my structures here. So that's kind of nice to see, I guess. I'm gonna stand right next to this ballista and see if it just prioritizes me or prioritize, because I think it's not even facing towards me. But it is kind of cool that if I just hang out by it, it is, it is kind of good defense. Hang out in its blind spot. Is it weird that I love this? That I really do enjoy this? Seeing these guys just get lit up. Hey, yeah. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next event here, which is one of my favorite. I don't know, something about these enemies and the fact, and just the text of it, it it's kind of, oh my god. It's kind of intimidating. But let's see if it's any more intimidating than um than my ballistas sniping me. There's no Mr. Wolves to be found. That's kind of disconcerting. Any Mr. Wolves? Can it only happen if I'm like right by a mountain? If there is a source of doggos nearby? Because I don't think there is a single source of doggo nearby, which could be problematic. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the next event, which is you stirred the cauldron, uh, which should mean some bats. Oh lord, here they come. Oh lordy. My, 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 my. I, 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 okay, okay, all right. Now, I don't, I don't think the ballistas at all are gonna pick these guys up. This is gonna be interesting because the aggro for the ballistas is gonna be all over the place. They're gonna be shooting all over the place. Oh, they're clipping some of them. Yo, do they still see me? Do the bats still recognize me when I'm flying? Ain't no way. Normally when you're flying in debug mode, none of the none of the mobs recognize you or like see you or aggro you. But because I'm flying, I guess they do. That's so odd. That's so odd. Aggro over here. 
Oh, there you go. This is the strat. It is really fun seeing all of these mobs get lit up, especially because I've had raids that have, have ended so sadly, that have ended so poorly. So if anything, if this wasn't an educational video, it's a cathartic one. It feels good, man. All right. So with that one done and over with, it is time for the next event, which is one of the ones I'm more excited for. They sought you out. And the Seekers are flying, which is interesting. Oh, and he, oh, he flying. Oh my God. Oh my God. This makes me so uncomfortable. Dude, I need bug spray immediately. Uh, what if I, what if I go in here? No, I can't. Totally, 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 totally. Oh, what? Oh, what? He can too. He's smart. He's smart. So these guys are kind of sentient, low key. Oh, there's three of them. There's more. There's more. I know I can't take damage from them, but they're so creepy. They're so creepy. I don't even want to risk it. So, so far, I think these have been the only, uh, the only other mobs to really get like in my walls like that. Hey, yep. I need to stop saying that, but it's so accurate. You know, I don't know. I wonder if I sit over here, I can kind of bait him out. No, nope. no nope. bait his friend though. Oh, it actually looks like here, there was some more damage sustained to the walls that I actually didn't do. Um, but with that now, we are on to the very last event so far that Valheim has to offer. Now, this is the most interesting one. This is the one that I think is going to be the most chaotic because it is so far the most dangerous flying enemy in the game. So let's see, what's up, Gyad? Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so there's one. There's one. Is it just one that spawns? I would like to see more gals, perhaps. I'm a man of many gals, you feel me? Not really, but you feel me? Oh, and he can drop wool. He can drop ticks. Oh no. Oh no. All this nacho cheese sauce. Stop. This spicy Taco Bell nacho cheese sauce in my eyes. So so far, because he because he's a flying enemy, he's just taking it right to the taking it right to the top. I mean, if you if you wanna if you wanna kick it, we can kick it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey yo, this is we oh we might have to we might have to censor this. Hey yo. Oh my god, and I can't even do my outro. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry I have to do it to you. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm on fire. Now, it just looks like from what I saw, it appeared like the ballistas and the wall structures that I have set up, this three-tiered wall structure, is pretty successful against the raids. Um, I did have to create different compromises in my system to let different raids, you know, kind of get in there, so to speak. Um, but the efficacy of it is there. But also let me know in the comment sections down below if you are using ballistas in your own bases and builds. Um, so far, I see the reasons why one would not. There were definitely some times that I could have gotten clipped. And I could have imagined that in survival mode where, you know, I can actually take damage, that would have sucked. So I don't know. Uh, but with that, we have reached the end of today's video. So. If you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new here, might as well subscribe. And with all that said, I've been Manny the Mage, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.